It's 2015. The last family in America has finally replaced their last old TV with a flat panel HD TV. And now we're being told that the TV replacement cycle is about to begin all over again. The TV industry would like us to get rid of our HD TVs and replace them with 4K TVs. Four times as many little pixels for four times the clarity, also known as Ultra HD. Now, let's be clear. To look its best, a 4K TV needs 4K video fed into it. And so far, no cable or satellite company is broadcasting in 4K. There's no DVD or Blu-ray disc that can hold 4K yet either. So I set out to perform a highly scientific test. I wanted to answer three questions. Can you see a difference from a normal seating distance? How much is there to watch in 4K? And above all, is it time to buy a 4K TV now? I tested new 4K sets in three price ranges from LG, Sony, and Samsung. To make sure they were properly calibrated and adjusted, Best Buy's Geek Squad set them up, calibrated them, and even supplied me with a splitter so I could watch the same show simultaneously. The first surprise, once the three sets were properly adjusted, you couldn't see any picture difference between them at all. On the other hand, you can see the difference between a regular HD TV and a 4K TV. There's a bigger range of color, and if you're sitting close, much more detail. Now, remember, there's a limit to the amount of resolution the human eye can detect. The advantage of a 4K set playing 4K video is that you can sit closer than you used to without seeing individual pixels. Or you can buy a bigger set without having to move your couch back. Next question, what is there to watch? Netflix has a $12 a month plan that lets you watch 4K shows, but it doesn't have very many of them. Amazon offers streaming 4K shows at no extra charge to Amazon Prime members. But again, not many shows. Sony offers this box, which lets you buy 4K movies in their full uncompressed quality. YouTube has a lot of 4K videos. And you can make 4K video yourself using the latest crop of cameras, camcorders, and even phones. If you connect an older video source, like a DVD or Blu-ray, or your cable box, or regular Netflix, it upscales the video to try to make it sharper. Sometimes it looks great. Sometimes it looks a little blotchy. It's clear that the world is going 4K. The TV and film production worlds are filming everything with 4K cameras now. Later this year, there will be a lot more to watch. And so, the final question, is it safe to buy a 4K TV now? Well, the price is right. Last year, 4K sets cost around 7,000 bucks. This year, you can get one for 1,000, and the prices will keep falling. So, should you buy a 4K TV? Here's the flowchart. Were you thinking about a new TV anyway? If yes, do you watch mostly movies as opposed to sports or cable? If yes, do you have room for a larger screen than you have now? If yes, then yes. If not, are you an early adopter, prepared to pay a little more for what's still a small selection of 4K shows, so you'll be ready when the tidal wave comes later this year? Then yes, get a 4K set. And then, invite me over to watch movies. <laughs>